Hey. Hey. It's Andrew. Man, you sure are in a hurry. I am in a hurry. A big old hurry. Yeah, I got something to do. Oh, I guess we're just going to blow right through this oh, episode, huh? Blow right through it. Scotty uh, wants to sit here, and this is what's going to be funny. We're going to be here probably for 30 minutes. No. Because Scott's going to be like, you know, I actually do want to talk about post today. Are you ready? And what's interesting about post is, actually, I have my facts here. Andy, you have time, correct? Look what you're doing. I'm just saying, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Live from the Farmland Fresh Dairy Studios, this is Serial Killers. Welcome to Serial Killers. It's the podcast where we talk about cereal. And uh, we're going to try a new one today and two other ones. And, you know, that's what we do. We eat cereal and we let you know whether it's good or not. Actually, one of our listeners just sent us an Instagram direct message saying that she bought the Wheaties because of us. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, you hear that, General Mills? She bought the Wheaties because of us. Do you have... Yeah. Do you have the... um What? That package that that listener sent to us? Which one? I put it on your chair. It had oh, a the, shirt. The shirt's right there. Yeah. What was, that, what was her name? Pam? Before from... I forget, I yeah. want to say thank you to Pam, who yeah. lives in Stony Brook, New York. Mm-hmm. That's thank Long you... Island. It. Yes. Um, I would like to say thank you for sending us the really nice t-shirts. Why are you I wearing really lady glasses? It. What are you doing? Um, these are my celebrity glasses. Oh, what I shirt did, what shirt you, did you get? I got one for the Grand Canyon. Oh, I got the Dare shirt because you make fun of me. I know. Yeah. I read the note. Um, <laughs> All right. Thank you so much again. We really appreciate it. See, we do open your packages. So check it out. Um, the cereal that I was going to... What do you... Okay. The new cereal today is from Post, so very good. I don't, I don't know. You have some kind of intuition there. Oh. This is really... Who's saying intuition? Uh, is it Jewel. Shakira? Oh, Jewel? It's Jewel. Oh, yeah. All right, because the shaver. Follow your heart, yeah. your intuition. Yeah. That's actually the song that ended her career. Check it out. Fun fact. Look. No, I don't want to wear the okay. sunglasses. We're Fine. in a hurry, right? Here, yes, we are. Hurry, Here, hurry. Look. Look. Wow. Salted caramel. Artificially flavored. Also, look. Honey bunches of oats. Wow. Salted caramel. Honey bunches also, of oats. Look. Artificially flavored. Wow. <laughs> Salted caramel. Artificially flavored. <laughs> honey bunches of oats. Okay. So, uh, about are a week or so- Are you in the family size? No. About a week or so ago, okay. uh, Secret Squirrel Joel texted me and said, hey, man, we have these. I was like, I know. I saw them. I was going to buy them, but Post said that they were sending them to us, but we hadn't received them yet, and we needed to record an episode, so I did buy it. That episode got postponed. Yeah. So, you know, now I have three boxes, and I'll tell you why, because here's the one that I bought from ShopRite. Uh-huh. Elvis wanted to try it, so he already had it. I did not taste it, but that's why this is open. Okay. Okay. So intern Dan. Yeah. Yes. Said, hey, I wanted you to try a cereal that Aww. I noticed you hadn't tried yet. So I got you this. Thanks, intern He also intern got Dan. us the Wednesday cereal that we did last week, but that's okay. It wasn't posted yet, so he didn't know. Okay. All right. Intern Dan, so sorry we didn't like that one, but thank you for thinking of us. And then this box came from from Post, from the uh, the PR company. They sent it to us. Uh, you know so, what? you know. I also want to say hi to the people at Three Wishes because I met somebody who works there, and thank you so much for sending us cereal in the future. Oh, yeah, the wonderful Wishingrad family. Yes, Wishingrads. Yeah. She sent me a postcard a while back. It was funny when I was in the barber shop. It was it was mentioned specifically because they brought. I don't um, understand this whole story. So I was in the barber shop getting my hair done okay. um, before I was going on this trip, and um, somebody brought in a whole like Costco size box of the Three Wishes cereal. Yes. So they got to talking. My barber was talking to me, and I was like, "Oh, do you get that cereal for free?" And the guy was like, "Oh yeah, my wife is like the head of marketing for Three Wishes." And I was like, oh, well, that's funny. We do. I've had that cereal before because I do a cereal podcast. They're like, oh, a cereal podcast. Uh, Oh, is it that one with uh, the guys from Z100? And I was like, that's me. (laughs) They were like, no way. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you remember trying that cereal? Um, I liked one of them. Uh, yeah. I specifically remember saying that this is the best of the healthy alternative cereals. We have a love-hate with them. Yeah. We love some, we hate others. Yeah. So, we'll but try some more. I really hope they keep growing. Um, they have the new one with marshmallows. Cool. So Marshmallows? Yeah, they have a marshmallow one coming. Kind of like a fake Lucky Charms? Yes, they're going to send it to us. All right, very good. Um, so listen, here's my problem with the Farmland Fresh Dairies fridge. Um, people around here just think it's a free-for-all. Yeah. And I have been... You know, we're recording this episode right before the big show is going on vacation. Yeah. So I've been rationing the Farmland Fresh Dairies milk all week because I knew we had to record this week. I came in this morning, and here's what's left of our 2% reduced fat milk. There's very little in the jug here. So let that be a testament to how good the milk is, though. That's right. And how much we drink here. People keep swiping it. Exactly. Farmland Fresh Dairies, thank you so much for sending us the milk. But at the same time, people stop stealing our Farmland Fresh Dairies milk. Yes, please. Please. Imagine so now, if we had chocolate milk in there too. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to use a splash in each cup. You know I hate that <laughs> word when it comes to milk. All right, hold on. Splash of 2%. Splash of 2%. <laughs> you don't have to say it. I knew what you were doing. Here, take a spoon. I don't want to touch it. Thank you. Like Monifa. <gasps> 
I know that one. <laughs> no, 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 Do no. you really want to touch it? Oh, no, I got the wrong one. Oh. Ready? Here Sorry. we go. Oof. It's uh, Honey Bunches of Oats Salted Caramel. Mmm! Yeah, I wouldn't... That was a little, like... That was a lot. I don't like salted caramel. Really? I don't. I don't taste the salt. Or was that just a figure of speech? I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's a childhood thing. I had a salted caramel thing, but they put way too much salt on it. Mm-hmm. And so I've always associated it with like a salt brick and I hate it. <laughs> like like a, sweet, salty brick. Like a horse salt Blech. lick? No, disgusting. But this is the right amount of salt. It's just a touch, just like or a splash mm-hmm. of salt. And the caramel really comes through and it's delicious. I do taste the caramel flavor. I also wish that it was a little bit sweeter. Mm-mm. So because of that... Three bowls and a spoon. I give it four bowls and a spoon. It's got the classic honey bunches of oats taste, the clusters, the flakes, with the hint of caramel, caramel, however you like to say it. Whatever. I don't really taste the salt. I just wish it was a little bit more sweet. I really like it. It's perfectly sweet for me. It's not too much. It's not overdoing it. I give it four bowls and a spoon. Okay. Yeah, that's like a dessert. Mm. Well, I mean, (laughs) for the most part, uh, 95% of the cereals we eat are like desserts. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Just saying. Yeah. Like this next one. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) You are the biggest. Seriously the biggest. Um, Speaking of marshmallows. So uh, my friend Myra, big listener of the show, loves it. Lives in Kansas City, Kansas. Loves it. Interesting. Went to the Price Chopper. Oh, love that. And sent me a picture and showed me this. There was a whole aisle... Of always save cereals. Oh, we've never had any of these. Now, here's, I had a crazy flashback when I saw this. Because when I was just a young lad, the Wallbaums uh, supermarket, which is out of business for mm-hmm. years now, their store brand was always save. Okay, I did some investigating and always save came out in 1984, about the time I was a young lad. <laughs> so <laughs> You don't have to keep calling yourself that. So stores at the time were using always save as their store brand. Okay. okay, so I guess that's what Price Chopper is doing, and maybe some other stores across yeah. this great country of ours. But here we go. I Always right. He's going to tell monologues. Okay. So anyway, Always Save is the, is, is the store brand or the generic, if you will. Yeah. All right. And this is a giant, massive box of marshmallow, marshmallow glitters. glitters. <laughs> and, and recipe on side. Look you at know that. What? It's like right Thank there. you so much, Myra, for sending us these. Yeah. If I ever meet you, I'm sure you're going to be a wonderful person. You've met her, I think. Oh, I have? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I got to shake it, dude. Shake your box. You've got to shake your box. I cannot wait for this shake vacation. Shake your box. Well, you know, people can watch me shake my box if uh, one of these days some of these things go up on YouTube. Ugh. Wow, they get a tight seal, I tell you. Usually the generics are just like weak and... Ugh. I'm going to rip it. I know it. I don't want to If you get it. cereal on me right now... There we go. Remember the one time that you spit milk out on me? I do. Wasn't that fun? That was, yeah. Yeah. Farmland Fresh Dairy's milk is great anywhere. On you, <laughs> in a cup, in a bowl. Yay, marshmallow glitters. All right, the marshmallows are different than your Lucky Charms. Great. They're interesting. Got stars and okay. and weird looking horseshoe type things. <laughs> Wait, okay. What? Can I, where, do they don't list the shapes like oh, they do on no, Lucky Charms? No, no, no. Not on generics, Andrew. Crowns, triangles, and circles. Does it say that? <laughs> Tie-dye... Red balloons. Who would the generic mascot be? For marshmallow glitters? Yeah. I feel like it's like a cow. I think it would be Lucy the leprechaun. Oh, yeah, Lucy. Yeah. But Lucy is like a foul mouth, like British person. Like, oi, you want my cereal? <laughs> isn't no, that, you don't. That's Australian, isn't it? No. Oi? Oi. Yeah, Vegemite, everything. Okay, well, it's then, okay, she's Australian then. Do you think it's a Vegemite cereal? Oh, please, <gasps> God, no. All right. Well, no, Australian um, would be like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. It's like so the little... cereal the cereal pieces are just pretty much all diamonds or squares, I guess, depending mm. on how you hold it. All right. Let's just rush right through it. That's good. Yeah. It doesn't taste quite like Lucky Charms. Okay. So it tastes like Cheerios with marshmallows. Yeah, I can see that. It's Cheerios with marshmallows, which I actually really like. That's that's a new, interesting taste we haven't had yet. It is. It's not quite as sweet as your Lucky Charms. Mm-hmm. It's a good source of 11 vitamins and, mineral, vitamins and, vitamins, <laughs> vitamins and minerals. I'm ready to go, Andrew. Okay. Uh, glitters. I'm giving it four bowls and a spoon. I like it. I give it four bowls. Okay. The pieces themselves, like the, the not cereal marshmallows. Pieces. <laughs> the cereal pieces? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they're not coated with like sugar, like they're, a Lucky Charms pieces. Right, that's good. They're not frosted yeah. Lucky Charms. They're just regular marshmallow glitters. They're regular. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Regular Marshall? March- I can't say Right? It. All, of us, commercial. Commercial. All commercial. of us today. Let's go All right. We'll be back right after this. Bye. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley, and I've had diabetes for about 20 years. And we're back. You know, it would have been about 30 years now. He's been, well, he hasn't been dead for 10 years, maybe about five. Look at you. Hey, can we? <coughs> Good day. It's me, Lucy, and I do marshmallow glitters. <laughs> really quick, we need to thank our friends at General Mills because they have been The like- monologues. The monologues. The monologues. What? Here we go. If this is serial related. Open her up. Open her Thank up. Thank you to our friends at General Mills. They've been really stepping up their game lately. They sent us this great back to school box top. And wouldn't you know, box. it has a book. I'll read you the kid's book while on air. No, it's actually, this is all the stuff they sent us and I took home. What? Yeah. Well, because I have the kids and this is all lunchbox stuff and back to school things. No, it's, box it's not. Tops. Yes, Andy's it is. super mac and cheese. You're telling me she goes to school with a kettle of boiling yes. water and makes it? <laughs> she sure does. Oh, really? She brings it to the she lunch boil- room. Yeah, she boils yes. the pasta. Yes. She does? Uh huh. Where? In the lunchroom. Oh, Evelyn really? does in it for her. Room. Yes, the lunch lady Evelyn. She does it Oh, really? It for her. She boils and makes yes. the mac and cheese for her. Yeah, so thank you, General Mills, okay. for the box top products that you sent. What? Look, they got s'mores, I, Nature Valley, I know. lunchbox that cool? bars. That would be so good But to it eat. even says lunchbox bars. That's for her lunchbox. Yeah, that would be so good. Ow. <laughs> That's that for wasn't... stealing our lunchbox things. Wait, hold on. They sent us something else. Look, look what they sent us today. And what's not in there? No, it's all in here because we've done these already. So thank you so much, General Mills. Look at that. Always organic, never ordinary. <gasps> ah, Cascadian Farm Mini Bites. Wow. We did both of these. There's the cookies and cream and the fruit falls. This Little, is nice. Yeah, and these are crayons. Let me tell you something. This packaging, right? you guys. They did a great job. Look at look, that. Look at that. It's like a storybook. Mini Bites, big fun. That is so freaking cool. Yeah. I but, love that we get these boxes now. Remember when we weren't and then we would just complain for... Yes. Ever about not getting the PR boxes? But I tell you, we beat them to the punch because we did these series like a month ago. Ha ha. Right? <laughs> so I'll take those crayons home if that's okay. Yes. For, for Cooper. And okay. I'll donate the cereals. Okay. Because the big Thanksgiving food Great. drive is coming soon. Great. Yeah. The crayons for Cooper. Is Cooper in second grade? She likes to color. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's artful. And I appreciate that, actually. So thank you so much, General Mills, and paying homage to Cascadian Farm because they sent us that. Let's do Cascadian Farm blueberry vanilla granola. This yeah. is going to be amazing. I just know it. You think so? Yeah. Can you tell by the sticker where I got it? Um, you got this from Buy Right. No, Buy Right? That's a liquor store. <laughs> no, you got this from Great Value. No, Big Lots. Big Lots. Yeah. That was it. Yep. Cascadian Farm Organic. Did I ever tell you I bought like too much toilet paper there once? You sure did. And I yeah. never understand That's it. like literally the only store I have from a Big Lots. No. Was... I went there and I don't know how it was like impossible, like. I don't know where that toilet paper came from, Narnia, who, who Hogwarts, wherever, but that was, there is no shot that I bought that much toilet paper that it lasted me a year and a half. All right, this is like an error package, because look, it says tear here. I guess F me. Tear here. <laughs> where? There's nowhere to tear. There's no notch. Right here. There's no notch. Oh! See? The notch is, is not right. Uh, let me just cut it. Okay. Because, you know, we, you don't have- your t- razor blade? We don't have time at all, you know? No. Uh, you almost hit me with that. I didn't. I'm very good with a box cutter. Oh, I don't want to ask any further questions. It smells, it actually smells nice, like blueberries. I think it's going to be delicious because I love vanilla. I love blueberries. It's going to be good. Okay. Uh, the Farmland Fresh Dairy's 2% reduced fat milk has been rationed, and there's just enough left for these two cups. Just a splash. And a little bit more for my coffee for the way home. Oh, no. Where is my spoon? I'll get you oh, another right one, there. Andrew. You know, there's lots of spoons in this place. Thank you. Look, I left just enough for my coffee. Yeah. See, I did it right. Stupid Garrett stole all our milk. He was so stressed about this. Like, he was walking around. Like, I saw him today. I was like, hey, Scott, how you doing? Huh. Yeah. What's wrong? Huh. That's right. It's like, what? what's what's the matter? Huh. I have no milk. Well, with no farm Garrett fresh dairy's my... milk, we can't do the podcast. You were actually. correct. All right, here we go. I hope these blueberries are not. All right. Mm. Not quite what you expected. Mm. I don't taste the vanilla, really. Mm-mm. I do taste the blueberries, if you get one. No sugar added. It's sweetened with fruit. Yeah. It kind of tastes like a hand lotion. A little bit of coconut. That you would get from Bath and Body Works. You eat that stuff? No, I'm saying it smells and tastes like that. Oh. Why, you eat that stuff? I'm saying it smells like it, and I assume that's what it tastes like. Okay. (laughs) I'm not eating hand sanitizer. Mm. Dry blueberries, coconut oil, sea salt, vitamin E. Yeah. I mean, it's look, it's good. I don't think so. This might be something to throw on top of yogurt. 
Yeah, maybe Nate would like it for his Icelandic yogurt. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I don't know what they're doing with those Icelandic cows. I do not like that yogurt. I actively dislike it. Mm. It is too strong. I am not a fan. Maybe you should try the Farmland Fresh Dairies yogurt. I would love to try Farmland Fresh Dairies I'm going to pick it up for you. We can put some of this on top of it. Yes, I would love that. There's a store right by my house that has it. I'm going to get it for next time. It's so funny. Every time my mom is in the grocery store now, she takes a picture and it's like, it's cow face. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Next time you're staring at the milk case, look for the cow cow face. face. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what'd you give that? Because I'm just going to give it three balls. Two bowls. Two. And a spoon. And a spoon. It's really let me down. It feels depressing to me. They are creating a wave of cascading change, though, with the bees and the butterflies. They could have done a little more. That's all. The pieces could have been sweeter. I don't know. Just something was missing. Listen, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Serial Killers. Please follow us on social, Instagram, preferably, at Serial Killers PC. You can check out Andrew at Andrew Pug. He's the one to complain to because you haven't seen YouTube videos in a while. And he'll well, get not that, by the time they hear this. He'll get that taken care of. Not by the time they hear this one. Check me out at Z Scotty B. And please follow our good friends at Farmland Fresh Dairies on Instagram. At Farmland Fresh Dairies. Well, I said that. Well, you didn't say at. I said follow our good friends at Farmland Fresh Dairies on oh, Instagram. I, I misunderstood. I apologize. I know what you, you thought I said. Yeah. But I got it. I got it. All right. Have a got wonderful, it, wonderful day. Have a great week, and we will see you soon. Thank you so much for listening to Serial Killer. Say Bye. crunch, Andrew. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Crunch. And thanks for watching. Crunch. Watching. <laughs> see ya. Cru- we didn't say crunch. I said crunch. Thing. One, two, three. Crunch. crunch. Okay, now the show is over. Bye.